factors, you first want to convert them to their improper fraction form. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 8 times 2 makes 16, and then I take that 16 and add it to the numerator. 16 plus 3 makes 19. So this first fraction is now 19 over 8. See, so we keep the denominator. Okay, so I converted the first fraction. The second fraction, uh, we do the same thing. Take that denominator, 2, multiply it to the whole number, 5. 2 times 5 makes 10. 10 plus 1 makes 11. <clears throat> so the second fraction is 11 over 2. Oops. And then the third fraction, 3 times 1 makes 3. 3 plus that 2 makes uh, 5. I can do 3 plus 2 for a second. So the top is now 5. And it's a fraction that's over 2. Okay. <clears throat> oh, sorry, over 3. Bottom was 3, so it has to stay 3 in the bottom. So that's the first step. We've got them at, in their improper fraction form, but we can't add or subtract fractions unless they have common denominators. So if you're not sure what the common denominator is between the numbers 8, 2, and 3, you can list out their multiples. I'm just adding down the columns. I'm adding these numbers to themselves again and again and again. Okay. So 8, uh, eight times 2 would make 16. 8 times uh, eight times 3 would make 24. You just keep adding 8 again and again. 2, 40, that's probably enough. And then if we list out the multiples for 2, we got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, we can stop there. Maybe we, we'll get lucky and we'll find something. List out the multiples for 3. We've got 3, 6, 9, 12. Just keep adding 3 to itself again and again. 15, 18, 21. What you're looking for is something that matches in all three of these columns. And we don't have anything if you look down. 16, 16, but there's not a 16 in this other column. So if you keep writing out this list, eventually, uh, let's see... 24 is going to be the least common multiple. You'll get a 24 in the next step here. And then we know we're going to get a 24 in the list of twos. It's plus 18 plus 20 plus 4. So 24 is what we want to do. And then you just have to multiply each fraction by the number that would make you have 24 in the denominator. So like I need to multiply 3 by something to make it equal 24. So if you take 24 and if you divide by 3, the number we need to multiply by is 8. Okay, so I multiply the top and the bottom by 8. That way I'm going to have 24 in the bottom. I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom of this one by 12. That way I have 24 in the bottom. And then I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom of this one by 3. And again, I chose 3 because 8 times 3 makes 24. Okay, so let's see, 19 times 3... 19 times 3 is 57, so this fraction is now 57 over 24. And then over here we have 11 times 12, uh, let's see, that's 132 with my calculator. And again, that's over 24. And then we got 40, 8 times 5 makes 40. And then that's 24 on bottom there too. So now that we have common denominators, now we can finally get to like the final answer here. Well, I guess they're going to want it as a mixed number, but here, let's clear this. Now that they're common denominators, you can add straight across the top. You can just do 57 plus 132, and then that's a minus sign to the left of the 40. So I'm going to do minus 40 here. So we've got 149 over 24, but you always want to reduce those if you can. Okay, so one thing I'm going to check is, uh, it's not going to work, but you know, check to see if you can divide them both by 3. Divide them both by 4 won't work because the top's not even. 5 won't work. 149. Well, that won't, doesn't matter if it's just 7, 8. I think that might be as simplified as it can go. You want to see if you can divide the top and the bottom by the same thing. And I think... You can't in this fraction because 149 is such a weird number. So to convert it to a mixed number, I have videos on that on how to convert improper fractions to mixed numbers. 
but you can do it with a calculator. Take the top number, divide by the bottom number, and it fits in six times without going over. And then we can write the fraction that's left over over here. 24 stays on bottom. And then what goes up top is going to be the remainder of that division. Right? So take out the 6. Here, let me just repeat what I did. I did 149 divided by 24. That's how I got to that number. So take out the 6. Leave, you, leave yourself with just that decimal. And you can multiply that decimal to the divisor. And that leaves 5 for remainder there. So 6 and 5 24ths is our, is our answer.